What is a crazy thing that you believed as a child? My parents used to press my belly button and say boop, so I thought boop was the name for this part of my body. The dinner is ready mom. I thought that there was no color before 1970, like it just turned on one day. That when I turned the camera around fast enough I could see myself in the screen. This guy called Santa. Chocolate milk came from brown cows. I grew up on a dairy farm. I believed this for far longer than I care to admit. All the adults we are in on it. Face palm. Adults have money and they've got their life together. If you press the hazard lights button in the car you will be ejected from your seat. I'd be able to buy a house. We can have power like Superman, if we do some certain things. There was a guy who could walk on water and turn water into wine who then died and came back to life. That my mum loved me. I thought earth is getting bigger because matter is created when plants grow. Denver is called the Mile High City. I thought that Denver was this amazing city sitting on top of Mile High Mesa like Devil's Tower from the movie Close Encounters. I was very disappointed when I flew to Denver as a kid and it was sitting on flat ground. You can be whatever you want. My mom told me I was born blonde in Southeast Asian so, she said that to get my hair black, she bathed slash shampooed me in coffee. Man kissing a woman suddenly makes a woman pregnant, because that's what we always see in movies. The world is fair. That I'm able to time travel when I'm a adult. If I ate a seed, it'd sprout and grow into a tree inside me. All humans were kind and caring creatures. That my dad just went out to buy milk and would come back within the hour. If the wind changes direction, your face will stay like that. You won't get in trouble if you confess now, mom or dad. That eating my bread crusts would help me learn how to whistle, thanks grandma. If you tell the truth, I won't get mad my mom. Smoke detectors in the house were actually Santa's cameras to monitor kids behavior. That I mattered to my family, actually still trying to accept the fact that I don't, and I'm in my late twenties. I was a mistake, and my family never let me forget it. I was so accustomed to the verbal and emotional abuse that came with it, I just thought that, that's just how families were. Until I moved out and realized, holy shit, they are narcissistic, abusive, and racists. Childhood trauma is real, yo. Adults all had a way to communicate with each other that kids are not aware of. When you become an adult, you get one and are told to keep it secret from the kids. This was before cell phones. Most of the answers over here are depressing, not what I had in mind. Grandfather said that the rotating rooster with a vein on the roof was once a real bird until it was struck by lightning. That all women were allergic to gluten. Okay, hear me out, my mom has celiacs, my mom is a woman see where I'm going with this? My mom told us kids that we have to get out of the pool when our fingers start to wrinkle or wet turn into prunes. I thought she meant prawns, but she corrected me and said prunes. I asked what's a prune, and she said it's a food, you eat it. So I had no idea that a prune was a dried plum. I thought a prune was a child that had stayed in the pool too long. I think I believed this from about 4 to 9 years old. I'm still a bit hesitant to eat prunes. I have a bad association with them. That the moon is following me. My sister convinced me that cartoon characters were real actors and hidden behind the Great Wall of China. I was very young and not very clever. My dad had me convinced that all airplanes at night were spaceships flying saucers. That China and Japan were situated where Alaska was. That everyone else is a telepathic and could read my mind, except me. 
as a really young child I somehow came to believe that it was impossible for parents to be relatives of the children they are taking care of, but possible for other types of relatives to be related to said kid, even if the parents were biological ones. My sister was Tinkerbell she used to dress up as her, and then said that you could only go to Neverland if you could whistle. So she always went I didn't one time I seen her getting dressed, and Tinkerbell and it ruined me. Natchez were medicine and that's why I couldn't eat them. When I grow up all my fears will be gone. I thought that the tooth fairy was my dentist, who was a pretty big guy. I always pictured him coming in through the window, checking my teeth, then sliding his hand under my pillow, and taking my tooth. That Hawaii was just off the coast of California, like really close to it, because that's where they always put it on flat maps. I'm not sure if this is quite a belief or what, but when I would turn the lights off upstairs and go down the stairs I would run crazy fast because I thought George Bush was running after me. I invented the word tomorrow. I used to think all dogs were boys and all cats were girls. I thought that when you quit something cold turkey you actually just ate a lot of turkey. There was something about turkey that would make you want to stop smoking or whatever it was you were trying to stop. This is a fact. Use the search before you post. That babies came out of the anus. That all white people knew each other. The reason being as a kid I saw a lot of them talking to each other. Child logic said, well it must mean they all know each other. Must be one big family. That I'm an avatar of Krishna from Hindu mythology. Currently I'm agnostic. That I'm handsome, smart, and talented. That it's illegal to cross the road when the light isn't green. I would always fall asleep on my parents' bed in their room I shared a room with them. Basically two beds in one room. And in the morning I would wake up in my bed. My parents convinced me that there was some kind of skeleton that hid in our closet who would carry me onto my bed when they wanted to sleep. That I'd grow up to be happy. That I may have been adopted. Arkansas and Arkansas I pronounced it exactly how it's spelled both existed and were two separate states. I heard people say one but only read the other and my brain didn't put it together for a long time. Don't even get me started on when I learned about Kansas. In primary school we had a lesson on cities around the world and we were encouraged to ask questions, and having heard about it on TV a few times I asked why New York was the city that never sleeps. I think as a joke we were like eight ninths at the time my teacher said, because people who live there are special and don't need to sleep, so they do all the jobs and work during the night and never feel tired believe this till I was about 14. People in movies get shot, stab etc for real, but for a high price. It made me stop dreaming of becoming an actor. I used to think that if I touched a black person I'd turn black I was 7. I believed I could see myself in the mirror and my reflection would just vanish. Shoved a popcorn kernel up my nose thought it would grow corn inside of my nose and brain and it die because of the roots. Pebbles were actually eggs and if you threw them at someone's head they would break open and burrow into that person's head. First grade was weird. That if you laughed at or mocked someone with a disability when you grew up and had kids your kid would have the same disability. I had a stutter which I didn't think was a real disability but anyway, I once asked my parents which one of them had mocked someone with a stutter. They laughed at it. My buddy Kimbo was deaf. I asked his parents which of them mocked a person who was deaf for Kimbo to be deaf. They did not laugh as much and were pretty upset. That my parents loved me. I thought that if you went to the far side of the TV you could see more of what was on the screen. I'm telling my nephews and nieces 2 to 4 years old that Kinder Schnitzel Small Schnitzel for Children translates into kids schnitzel are made out of nasty kids that took it too far. They believe it 
and to this day my siblings are trying to figure out why they start crying whenever I ask them if they would like a Kinderschnitzel. Going out with little kids is a nightmare. This makes it a bit better. If I ate fruits with the seeds still on them, a plant would grow in my stomach. If you try to look up hard enough that you could see your brain. But if you saw your brains, your eyes wouldn't be able to turn back. I commented this on another post but anyway, my beliefs on where babies came from. Up until I was around 5 or 6 I believed in what I called the baby shop. One day I was in the car and I saw a children's clothes shop and there were pictures of babies and little children on the front. In my mind I was like well, I suppose that's where people go to buy their babies. My parents are mixed faith, so until I was 6 I thought all women were Jewish and all men were Christian. I used to think color didn't exist in the older days, because I used to watch a lot of older TV shows such as I Love Lucy, and they were in black and white. In other words I thought color was a recent invention. Old people would be able to steal your soul, if you look them in the eyes. My parents loved me. That a scary woman would crawl out from under my bed at 3.33 am, and take out my eyes, if I didn't repost a misspace bulletin. Never took the chance so can't say it's not true.